What is going on everybody, Weedle Tweedle here, and we are back here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and this one's going to be against Matthew. Now, I battled my opponent off my Discord server, so if you guys are interested in, you know, Pokemon Sun and Moon battling and trading, a community place to hang out, feel free to check out my Discord, a link will be in the description. Now, just a warning ahead of time, this video probably won't be edited that much because I'm nearing this 45 minutes before I have to go into work, so there probably won't be much editing into this video, if any at all, so I do apologize for that, but your bitch is busy and can't put editing into every single video. So I hope you guys, you know, understand. Anyway, we're having a really used battle today. As my opponent's team is pretty fun, he has Cloyster, Durant, Ambipom, Comfy, Machamp, and Necrozma. As I'm using Alolan Golem, Garbodor, Aerodactyl, Houndoom, Galissapod, and Cofagrius. Now, um, my team is pretty fun, as you see. Um, you can see by the clickbaity title and the Gosma background that Galissapod does work in this battle, so... We can clearly tell that this battle is going to be very fun. So turn one, my opponent's going to lead off with Cloisters. I'm going to be leading off with my Alolan Golem. Now, I expect my opponent to want to go for Shell Smash. I also expect my opponent to want to lead off with the uh, Ambipom, so that's why I led off with my Golem. But she ends up, or he ends up leading off with the Cloister, as I just go for Rock Blast, just because, if I don't know what, may as well have it. This was supposed to be a lead Golem, I decided to make, and Rock Blast is just going to obliterate that poor Cloister. I'm like, that's what you get for trying to set up on me. I don't know what you were thinking. I'm a low on Golem, I probably would have taken any attack at plus two anyway, so that's kind of sad. It's not, it comes to Klozma, as you're just going to set up the Stealth Rocks. Fair enough, very balanced move. As I decide, well, I don't know what, I'm going to be very balanced in this game. Go for my own Stealth Rocks, set them up on the field and I am full of energy at the moment because I'm narrating this at 10 in the morning so I actually have energy for once and it's actually like daylight outside so I'm being filled with energy and I drink coffee so I just have energy so it feels really weird instead of narrating it while I'm half asleep but here Necrozma goes for Psychic because I just go for my stab galvanize explosion freaking blow up on his face and Necrozma not going to be able to tank that as down goes my golem I didn't want to risk this freaking Necrozma being like a stored power set because I know how potent that set can be. I've used it like a couple of times and it's freaking literally won me every game and it's kind of disgusting. And I know there's counters to it, but it's still disgusting nonetheless. Anyway, in comes Ambipom, these hands, so I'm going to bring my Cofagus. That's not named these, uh, catch these hands. That would have been so funny if I forgot to nickname this Cofagus, but um, it happens. As here, um, Ambipom's going to get the mummy. Yeah, not that that really matters. This is actually a Trick Room Nasty Plot Cofagrius set because I have a Trick Room. I'm like, I'm starting to get like a fetish with Trick Room lately. I don't know what it is. So anyway, in comes Four Play the Machamp. That's pretty funny. As I'm, I'm in like, I could Willow Wisp this thing, so I'm not too sure what my opponent's thinking. But maybe that um he carries uh, guts. But even then, I have Mummy, so it's not gonna work. I always think ahead. I'm like, this is not gonna work out for you. So I'm gonna set up a Nasty Plot here. I mean, he might be a Salt Bus, so it might work out for him. But he's gonna go for a Knockoff here. Maybe not really low. Actually actually as he's going to get mummy here which is going to work against him in a couple of turns as you'll see so he's gonna knock off my life orb and I'm just gonna go for the plus two shadow ball and my main goal was to get mummy on the Machamp actually as weird as that may be like why are you wasting your trick room and your nasty plot with fire gifts just to get mummy off so um I have a Galissapod right Guzma's babe and we're in Guzma's home so obviously we are in home territory and this is going to be very good for us. So I'm going to go for Leech Life here because I'm faster than Machamp under Trick Room and I'm not going to let him get my emergency exit. So that's why I was so focused on getting Mummy because I want this Galissapod to get Mummy so it can't be forced out with the emergency exit. So that was my thoughts around bringing Galissapod and Cofagrius on the same team. Their sets did not have any synergy with each other. I guess Trick Room was just good with Galissapod anyway, so I guess they have synergy. Accidental synergy. That's like what I do. I have like accidental synergy on my team. Here, I'm gonna go for bulk up because I'm a bulk up. Like a, I'm a bulky bulk up set. Yeah, that sounded weird, but that's what I am. As here, my champ's gonna go for Stone Edge. I um, mean, missed the first Stone Edge thanks to No Guard not being there. I forgot to mention that. As I was too focused, freaking praising Galissapod. And I mean, in this battle, we're pretending that Galissapod's actually good. I mean, so that's why you guys are here. But like, in all reality, this Pokemon kind of sucks. It's just low key. It's not the best, but it's definitely one of those niche Pokemon that are cool. And it's fun to use when it works, but when <laughs> when it doesn't work, it's literally dead weight. And you're like, oh, all right. So anyway, in comes Comfy here. And I'm like, Flower Power. What an original nickname for Comfy. At least it's not named after some uh, Mary Joanna. Because that's what everyone names are comfy. I don't know why. And they're Venusaur. Like, what, what is up with that? Thankfully, I have not faced a Venusaur in a couple of battles. <laughs> here, I'm going to go for Toxic here. Just because I know I can't do much damage to this thing. And I have Toxic just in case I needed it. I don't know why I have Toxic. I mean, this set was, like, really weird. I don't know why I even trained it. But I'm weird like that. So we're just going to go with it. 
anyway, um, I do apologize if you hear my bird in the background, because like I said earlier, it is only 10.30, so um, my bird is going to hear me narrate and want my attention, so he's going to scream for me, and I'm not going to re-narrate it, so you guys are going to enjoy a full Weedle Tweedle one try narration combination, and you guys are going to understand why I always re-narrate if my bird decides to start talking, so here the um, Comfy Extra Reveals taunt now, I'm like, oh. You'd think that she'd want to, or he want to use that first, right? But I guess not. Um, Calm Mind seems like a bigger priority, I guess. Um, but I do have Leech Life as well, so I can easily freaking vamp off this Comfy as well. So it's not like Comfy can beat me. And it's kind of sad <laughs> how um, Glossopod's actually like soloing a team because it doesn't have Emergency Exit. That's how much Emergency Exit actually holds it back. Um, I know a lot of other things hold it back as well, but Emergency Exit's definitely a big one. That's like, wow, when I'm at half health, I'm just forced to switch out. Like, I have no freaking choice. And it's like, oh, that's cool. I really enjoyed that. Though it can be useful in some situations, it's definitely, it hinders it more than it helps it. Kind of like how Slacking's ability, but Slacking's ability is just paint, paint out, like, neutered. Like, if you don't have this ability, you're going to be in, like, anything goes, bro. So, I don't know. I mean, obviously not that high. But here, the Comfy gets, um mummy as well so that means that she doesn't have um try edge draining kiss so that's pretty freaking funny so now i have priority aqua jet like i revealed earlier and i can just blast this thing away with priority aqua jet which is pretty funny so galissapod can be able to easily destroy my opponent really uh, my opponent really has nothing to contest this thing honestly because all he has left is physical attackers and comfy which isn't the hardest hitting special attacker so he did not really have anything for a bulky setup sweeper like this. I mean, it could have been any bulky setup sweeper, and he might have been screwed. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet and knock out the uh, Comfy. So down goes Comfy, and Galissapod getting another kill. And it, it, I mean, the fact that my opponent doesn't carry Toxic is also useful. Obviously, Toxic or Willows does neuter this thing. I mean, there's a lot of things that neuter it, but my opponent just doesn't have it because he decides to run Ambipom over a useful Pokemon. I don't know why. Ambipom should be like PU, but people use it for some reason. I don't know why. It makes no sense. But here, Andrew Hump's gonna get Mummy as well, so bye Technician. Like, I mean, you weren't doing damage to me in the first place, but you're not doing damage to me now, ever, so. Yeah, he's gonna flinch me the fake out, but I have Leech Life, so it doesn't really matter what my opponent wants to do. I can just cream him with this Glissapod, which is kind of sad, but I'm just gonna go for the Stab Aqua Jet here, and it's not gonna knock out Ambipom. I only got plus one, by the way. I haven't even bothered setting up bulk ups because I want to end this game off as fast as possible because I also had this game before I went to work so it's kind of sad I like had this game and I'm trying to narrate it and like within an hour's time frame before I go to work and then it's going to be like the shittiest video I've made in a while I already know it but I mean whatever I can't do much about it my time frame is not much but I guess I can just not upload daily I mean let me guys know let me let, yeah my English is really bad right now too um let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more daily uploads, even if it means less editing or just like occasional uploads like every one or two days with more editing in them because it's probably better and more healthy for the channel than like rushed out pieces of shit like this one. But um, I just want to show off Glissapod too. This thing was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, Z-Hone Gloss, not going to really help my opponent here as uh, even though it gives him plus two, I'm still at plus one defense and Glissapod still hits really hard. I'm just gonna go for Aqua Jet here instead of Leech Life just because I want to see the damage. And I mean, it's doing a decent chunk to the uh, Durant as Exus is going to bring me down pretty low as Kevin's going to get Mummy. So it loses the hustle as well, which is just kind of like funny how Mummy's just one by one neutering all my opponent's abilities. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And here I decide not to go for Aqua Jet. I don't know why. I think I just wanted to waste everyone's time even though I was under. I was under a time frame. I, I didn't have much time to battle this guy, so I don't know why I did that. But I just want to bring in my Aerodactyl here and use my Z-Move because I just wanted to reveal him Supersonic Sky Strike Aerodactyl. And so I could put it in the title and use Clickbait with like Z-Move and Supersonic Sky Strike and get more views. That was actually the real goal. But um, unfortunately, Galistapod is going to get the Clickbaity title this time around. And an Aerodactyl will have to wait for, for her Clickbait title. But Supersonic Sky Strike is going to destroy the Durant as down that thing goes. And we're able to beat... Matthew. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you guys did enjoy the battle, I really would appreciate if you hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you guys want to see more, I mean, daily uploads regardless of the editing, like if it's not a big deal or like you want to see like occasional uploads with less, or with more editing 
and more effort put in the video, as it's probably more healthy for the channel, but some people don't give a shit because some people upload pieces of trash every day with no shame, so I mean, I'm not gonna do that, obviously, but sometimes you're gonna slide in some trash every now and again. So let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about that, and I'll check you guys in my next video. Alright, peace.